All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Pratt Pack. Jim, very busy day, and more on that in a moment. But coming up within a half hour, we're going to talk to Allegheny County Sheriff Bill Mullen from the Pratt Pack, Jim, and get his response to the firing of FBI Director James Comey and why that position is so important, especially when it's working with local sheriff's department. And then tonight, we'll be at Jimmy Maganello's Club at Shadow Lakes and talking to two of the candidates running for judge in Beaver County, attorney Debbie DeCastro and attorney Myron Sanovich. But right now, Greg Diolis on the Comcast Sports Line talking all about the Penguins. Counselor, tonight the puck drops at 7.30 at the Verizon Center, and it's winner take all on the NBC Sports Network. Good morning. Good morning, Rob. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I think everybody felt a little bit, uh, or at least the fans feel a little intimidated going into this game, feel like that. That 5-2, which really was like a 5 nothing loss the other night, uh, gave you a feel that you know, maybe the Penguins can't defeat this team. But keep in mind, Rob, you know, they were two-thirds of the way through uh, a fourth champion, a fourth game victory the other night. So this is not a beyond possibility type of task that the Penguins have in front of them tonight. Obviously, they've got to get the puck out in front of Holtby a whole lot more. 18 shots for three periods of hockey just won't cut it. So what do you think Coach Sullivan will do? Will he shake the lines up a little bit to maybe get some more punch? You know, Rob, I, I, you had a lot of, we had a lot of reports about the practice that they had yesterday that was a very uh, difficult practice, that they went over some educational things with some whiteboards and things of that nature. So uh, I'm assuming that that would mean that there was a little bit of a change-up or mix-up of the, uh, the lines. So, yeah, I think there may be a little bit of difference, but I don't know that they'll go overboard on that. You still have guys that have been used to playing with each other virtually the entire season. So I, I think it's going to be more of a uh, try to get the puck in front of the whole beat and, and pepper him with shots. They don't have to be great shots. They just have to be shot. Listen, Ole Mata could only do so much, and it would be nice to have Chris Letang. But defensively, in your opinion, what do you think this team needs to do to really make it a little bit more tougher for Washington to go up and down the ice the way they did the other night at PPG Paints Arena? Yeah, Rob, I, I think what, what they need to try to do a little bit more of is to kind of stand their ground more at the blue line and, and kind of prevent the, the odd man rushes getting through them. Uh, Cole, in particular, seemed to, to be a little bit off his game the other night. And, uh, you know, I like that kid. He's a young guy. He's, he's growing. But uh, I think they need to be a little bit more aggressive right at the blue line to, to kind of stop things and, and just – kind of putting an end to the rush right there, almost like in basketball where everybody yells, stop the ball, stop the ball. I think in this situation, you've got to try to stop the guy with the puck. Listen, not that you don't want Rust and you don't want Jake Ginzel, who's just been electrifying in the postseason, to get their opportunities, but I think if I'm a teammate of Sidney Crosby's, I'm thinking of him, the captain, the guy that's got us here, the greatest player in the world, the most skills, he understands he's played at every level, level what to do with the puck in a game of this significance. I say whatever you do, try to find Sidney Crosby and give him the opportunity to pull the trigger. I think that if I'm, if I'm Sullivan, I'm playing Sidney for 40 minutes tonight. Do you think that Sidney Crosby realizes that, you know, the weight of the world, sad to say, even though he doesn't want it, it is on his shoulders because of who he is? but I think he relishes that. I think that he has grown into that role. I think he's very happy to be the guy that's the focus of it, and he feels like he's the best player in the world, and he's going to show it tonight. Where is it getting Malcolm in this whole situation? It's funny. The poor guy's almost always been in Crosby's shadow, and that's tough. He does seem to excel better or play better when on those rare occasions when Crosby is not around. So, it, you know, it's a difficult position to be in because he's probably among the top five players uh, in the NHL, but yet uh, when he's overshadowed so much by Sydney, uh, it will be a tough role to fill, but, but he's never been a guy that's been a real complainer about those things, and one thing that I really like about the way he's playing hockey this year, he's tough, Robbie. He's not one of those old-style European guys that were afraid of contact. This guy's a, he's a monster. He'll, he'll brawl with you. Last thing, no matter what happens tonight, you cannot blame Marc-Andre Fleury. This guy has really played above and beyond the call of duty during this postseason. And if you would have told me even a month before the end of the regular season that he would be the man called upon to do 
what they wanted him to do between the pipes to give them this opportunity to get to a Game 7 in the Eastern Conference Final. Probably wouldn't believe it. And then if you would have told me, hey, look what he's done, I would have equally said, I'm surprised but not shocked because this guy is an amazing athlete. He is, Ron. And you know what's nice about him? And a lot of other family, you know, really all hockey players in general, they generally seem to be good guys. I mean, you have to root for a Mark andre Fleury. That, that commercial he does with his wife and the baby and he's changing diapers and throwing it away with a stick because he doesn't want to touch it. I mean, it really kind of makes you feel like this guy's a, a genuinely good person and you like for good things to happen to guys like that. Hey, folks, get out and enjoy the game tonight, but be safe and be responsible. In the meantime, for Greg Diboulos, I'm Rob Pratt. Thank you so much for joining us from the Pratt Pack Gym, and let's go Penguins. Good morning.